What's up everyone, it's Seal Suede here from Diabetic Aesthetics. I'm gonna take you all through my very own personal pull workout and I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how you can create your very own pull routine. Um, go ahead and let you know which exercises I pick and choose and why I do so. And also the workout overview is gonna be at the very end of the video, so be sure to stick around, hear what I have to say, you know, sit back, take some notes, and be prepared to make a lot of gains. You know, this is something you can stick to for a very, very long time. A push pull legs routine is something I strongly recommend for everyone. So, hope you enjoy the video. It's caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the crossfire. All right, so obviously I start my pull workout with my back movements first, and what I go ahead and choose for my first exercise for back is the barbell row. Now I choose something that's a compound exercise for the back, uh, something that uses a lot of muscle groups, something that I really fo wanna focus on getting stronger in, and that's something like the barbell row. I highly recommend that. You can do something like rack pulls or deadlifts, but I really enjoy doing the barbell row for my second pull day of the week. And after that, uh, if you guys notice, by the way, I do do my first set heaviest first. So I do something I can do four to six reps. I, I did around two plates for like six reps. So I'll go ahead and move up and wait next time. But after my barbell row, I'll do the lat pull down. Now you can choose any lat exercise. You could do like pull ups or something. But I personally enjoy the lat pull down machine. Uh, like I said, this is more of a hypertrophy routine. So you know, if you're looking for more of a hypertrophy workout, this is definitely gonna suit you well. And after that, I choose a compound um, back machine movement. And that could be something like the seated T-bar machine, like what you're seeing right over here, or the seated T-bar row. Um, and I really enjoy, like I said, going heavy first. Uh, I, I really focus on reverse pyramid training. Um, just my, That's my method of work at working out. Uh, it's worked for me best when it comes uh, to muscle growth. And what I go ahead and do my first heavy set. Now notice how I'm not swinging, guys. Too many people uh, take this movement for granted and just keep throwing on weight and just swing it around. You don't want to do that. You want to stay strict. Even with the dumbbell row right over here, uh, after I, I did my for my fourth back movement, I go ahead and do the dumbbell row. Uh, just because uh, you want to choose something uh, with an individual arm work, uh, just so you don't have any muscular imbalances in your back. So, you know, if you don't like this, go ahead and do some type of uh, one arm machine rowing back movement. Uh, but like I said, I keep my first set heavy um, around six to eight with the dumbbell row. And then I just move higher in reps as I go down in sets and I do three total sets for that but I was doing the hundreds for the first set and so forth you know and, and probably with the 80s or so after that I choose my compound bicep movement which is the alternating dumbbell curl uh, that is my choice and I really really enjoy this one guys you can do barbell curls if you want but this I usually do barbell curls for my first pull day of the week uh, this like I said this is my second pull day of the week um, so it's a little bit more hypertrophy based but I really really enjoy this um, I usually just go heavy on my first set even with biceps you want to train them heavy they're like any other muscle group um, too many people focus on going extremely high repetitions with this but if you want your biceps to grow um, or even your arms in general, you need to hit them with uh, heavy, heavy weight. So my first set is always around four to six reps and clean reps. As you guys saw, um, I was swaying a little bit for my first set because it's just kind of unavoidable um, when you're doing around four to six reps with the dumbbell curls, but it's really not a big deal because you're gonna go higher and higher repetitions, work hypertrophy and strength. After that, you wanna go ahead and move on to a cable curl. You can use the easy bar, or straight bar. I like doing the easy bar. And then after, the for the third bicep movement, we're, we're gonna go ahead and do uh, the seated dumbbell hammer curls. Um, I really, really like this one. Um, I get a lot more hypertrophy on the last exercise, so my first heavy set will be around six to eight, nothing like four to six or something, but by the end set, I'll be around like 12 to 15 reps. And then for my final movement, for my pull workout, I'll go ahead and do some dumbbell rear delt raises. Really, really, really cannot forget to neglect the rear delts. You don't have big arms, you definitely cannot neglect rear delts, so be sure that you're, you're doing that. You can do the machine, I really like that one, but that's my favorite rear delt exercise. But anyway, here's the pull workout summary. I go, went ahead and wrote every single exercise, every single set I did, and how many reps per set. If you wanna go ahead and screen shot this there's also part two that's continued just because I didn't want to make the text too small on this so I went ahead and uh, put another slide but you can you guys can go ahead and pause the video right here 
and screenshot this or write it down or take a picture, whatever you guys want to do. But go ahead, try this out, guys. And here's some important points you really want to focus on. Um, I know I already repeated this, by the way, in my push workout, which I will go ahead and link down below if you want to know how to create your very own push workout. Legs coming soon, by the way. Be sure to give this video a like so I know you're really liking these. But anyway, yeah, make sure you focus on progressive overload. Like I said, I love reverse pyramid training. Go ahead, try that out. Um, and make sure you're picking important exercises. Don't do useless things. Increase your workload and volume as you advance, and progression is key. Anyways, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like. If you did, do not forget to subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video.